talk anyway. Knowing that I'm talking, they gon' talk anyway. Topic of discussion. This the light they want it. Topic of discussion. This the light they want it. Your thoughts, your thoughts ain't my thoughts. Welcome back to Conversations with me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that bell notification so you can get every piece of content that I release. If you would like to support the channel, then hit that PayPal and hit that Cash App. It all counts. It all counts. Now, uh, off rip. Let's get the stuff out that everybody's going to say. You're going to hear this said 50 million times. These people are disgusting. This is despicable. These people are wrong. Yada, yada, yada. And I hate to sound so nonchalant about that, but those are the typical things to say. And I'm going to say it too. Yes. Both of these motherfuckers is wrong. Period, point blank. It ain't no... What in your mind would make you want to do a skit like this for a, for a laugh, right? But then let's really dig, dig down deep into what's really going on in the world. The reason I'm saying what would make you want to do this is because if they were doing this skit for like awareness purposes of how easily uh, someone can be messed with how easily a child can be messed with then this would have been looked at a totally different way no one would be saying that these people are disgusting despicable yada 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 right and that's the thing about perspective but here we go you have tiffany haddish who was coming up ari spears who had already did mad tv so what you have in that combination is someone who's trying to make it to elite stardom and someone who has been in the spotlight doing very well on a show, on a show called Mad TV that was competing with Saturday Night Live. Now, to me, I believe Saturday, I mean, I believe Mad TV was always better than Saturday Night Live. But you have someone who had a taste of the spotlight, taste of the money, comedian, Oh, yeah, Ari Spears, right? So you have two people at a crossroads as to we're trying to figure out how to get to this stardom. Of course, it's going to be the first time for Tiffany, and it's going to be the second time, I guess, for Aries. See, and when you're there, I guess you looking from the outside in on Tiffany Haddish side, right? She wants it so bad that, fuck it, I I mean, I ain't got nothing to lose so far, so why not do something a little risque? And Aries Spears is saying, I've had it. It's great over there. It's, It's good in the spotlight. I'll do anything to get back over there. So those are the, that's what you're dealing with. Now, when it comes to this mama, though, Cause let's not sleep on that. No, everybody, oh, she, Tiffany Haddish, Eric Spears need to go to jail, and along with that mama. Now, if these allegations are true, which I don't know, cause I don't know, you don't know either. It's all up to whoever lands in that courtroom and their decision on what they come up with. So miss me with trying to convict people in comment sections and on the internet. Because I'm going to tell you one thing I know for sure. People do not give a fuck about their kids. You don't even give a fuck about kids. Although you're on the internet and you're looking and you're saying this is despicable, you don't give a fuck about nobody's kids. You don't give a fuck about your own children. I know firsthand Because your bitches party too much. First of all, you're in your goddamn 30s and 40s still partying at the bar. Your bitches think about dick way too much. Your niggas think about pussy way too much to be telling me that you give a fuck about these kids. You don't care what go in they mind and in they body. So miss me with all this parading that you guys are doing on the internet. 
I've already said it's like eight people in this motherfucker who care about kids. And yeah, let's say, let's talk about it. People going to get on this internet and make it content and act like they boo-hooing for the kids. They don't care either. It's content. Baby, for everybody with a big channel, turn that motherfucking dollar sign off. <laughs> I bet you you don't do that, but we care about the kids. Awareness. We want to hear the people. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to me. And what I feel like is crazy to me is because you felt, because the woman is saying, me and Tiffany Haddish, we just got close because the uh, the divorces we were going through, it just brought us close. And so because you guys bonded over getting a divorce, going through terrible relationships, you just alley-ooped your kids to the lady <laughs> and said, oh, yeah, go work with her. Now, I feel you on having a relationship with a woman um, and saying, like, yeah, we cool. Like, she know my kids. I feel it. But it ain't no, like, because where did you, did you see the footage, mom? Because there's, because the kid, the kids are saying that they couldn't consent. They weren't old enough, at least the little boy. Like, so if he couldn't consent, which makes sense, he's a child. Mom, where was you at? You did you did you get to see any of this footage? And do not let that funny or die channel uh miss the heat. They have three million subscribers over there. If the subscriber count don't go down over there, miss me with all the internet hoopla. Just miss me with it. People, y'all. And when this type of stuff comes up, it's so sad because I feel like I take the position of being nonchalant and not caring. But what happens is I just know the world that I'm operating in. And no, it's not an America thing. This is the world. Because people be trying to, oh, America is this, America is that. This stuff happened. This is a very normal thing in the world. Like I said, we don't know if something transpired off a of camera, but what we see on camera, them trying to make a joke out of what was happening with them kids. It's not funny to me. No, it's not funny to me. I don't see how anybody would let that pass off as comedy. But I'm just, once again, with that mom, how did you let this rock? Who the fuck was on set? That's the thing, to let this little boy be all up in his drawers. If you would like to see the video, man, the link is in the description, if they have not took it down. But, yeah, everybody going to say that same shit, like they care about the kids, but don't nobody care about the kids. When I say eight people care about their kids, let's just say 8%. 8% of the world care about the kids. Now, think about the ki the, the world in the mass, right? If you think about the, ki if you, the kids, if you think about the world as 100% and only 8% of people care about their kids, that's a very small number. And that's how real it is out here. Do you know how much you have to protect your children? Do you know how much you have to put into your children? You know? I look at my children and there's nothing I would, I wouldn't do for them in this world. You know what I mean? And it'd be times where you see other children and you know you got to mind your fucking business because you about to have to deal with a whole bunch of shit if you say something. And then that's when in your head you say, uh-uh, not for mine, no. I'm turning it upside down. Do you feel what I'm saying? It ain't. I'm going to war for my children because that's how much I care about mine. I am creating beautiful human beings. I'm doing my best to create beautiful human beings. And no one in this world gets to 
rattle with that. And see, here we have a whole nother conundrum in this whole situation. Because you served your babies up to some holly weird people, right? And that's where you got to start asking. How much do we really praise money? Yeah. Let's talk about chasing that bag. Getting to the bag. The bag, bag, bag. And it should be deaf to the bag culture because if we put the bag over everything, morals mean nothing. Kids mean nothing when you put the bag on top of everything. Because I'm pretty sure, and let's just be for real, we're not going to fake it. This mama served them kids up for that bag thinking that this is going to give them an end to the industry and not mess them up because if the parents, if the parents are any form, any way, any shape involved in this, how do you let this pass? You don't unless you're like, you know, cause, cause I, cause I got 50 racks behind it and, and I really needed it cause we, I was hurting out here. You know what I mean? I did want to do a little bit of some fly things without doing it. <laughs> Man, you got to look at this thing kind of at all angles because now we have a 22-year-old young lady and a 15-year-old boy. And everybody says that Gen Z is... uh very entitled they act like they don't want to work these two people would fall into that category maybe even the little boy would fall into another generation but I don't know and I don't know them personally I'm not saying it's them and that's how they're feeling but if we were supposed to just generalize or if we do just generalize then how does that fly out the window how does that fly out the window now now everybody just stand up. Every every lawsuit mean that's exactly what happened now, right? That's what's happening, right? Or do some people really do file lawsuits so they can get to the bag? I know my opinion isn't going to be popular, but my thoughts ain't your thoughts. My thoughts ain't your thoughts. You feel me? So you don't have to feel the way that I feel. But we got to lay blame to all parties. We're talking about Tiffany Haddish. We're talking about Aerie Spears. We're talking about Funny or Die. We're talking about those kids' parents. And ultimately, I'm not even going to say that part. But the the, the blame can go around. We're not just going to throw it on the two people who got a name out there now. And this is another lesson into what Ari Spears did. See how see how uh your mouth can get you in some shit. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, Ari Spears just went viral for saying a little funny joke about Lizzo. And it was all fun and games. He got on the internet. Hey, yeah, I th- I could still get some room. All that shit he was doing. And now <laughs> It's not funny no more because you alley-ooped yourself into some bullshit. Now, it was already out there, right? They said it's been out there for some years. It was already out there. But what perfect time to shine light on top of your ass when you go viral. This is perfect timing. Oh, and oh, you said something about women? Hey, throw this on top of them too. It's time. (laughs) Throw that grenade. Blow it up. You know what I mean? But like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. That's my opinion. Mine, me, I. You know what I mean? You can have whatever opinion you have. You can get down in that comment section and let me know your opinion. Hey, man, just always keep it respectful. I always say that. You know what I mean? Just keep it respectful. I don't care if we disagree. It's okay for us to disagree. But you don't have to go off and be, you know, 
disrespectful. You know, that was a, that's 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 robot shit. You know what I mean? And that w- you would think that the robots would be um, disrespectful. But this be actual human beings. You don't know nothing about nothing. Just feel like, oh, I'm going to call her on her name. You know, like, <laughs> but yeah, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Conversations with me.